Jasper. Don't be frightened. Now then, Rob, what are you doing here? Well, I'm just about to do a little job, actually. So put some more two-stroke oil yeah. into my YB100. Hopefully, so that it will last another 30,000 miles. Oh, right. Because this is a most important little job that you have to remember to do every now and then. Yeah. What are you up to? Well, I was actually just coming to tell you that I've made you a cup of tea. Well, what perfect, what perfect timing that would be. Why, have you finished? I'm, I haven't finished quite. I was going to say, that wasn't much. But there's nothing wrong with taking a short break. Oh, right. Well, that little intervention from uh, the present Mrs. Little has brought me back to an idea I've been thinking about for some little while now. That is to do a review on this little bike. A 30,000 mile review, no less. It's, in fact, it's done nearly 30, 31,000 miles. I've had it since it did not, it had done 19,000 miles. And I've had it 11 years, so I think uh, it's long beyond a 30,000 mile review. So let's see if we can get something done on that. So guys, this is the world's first 30,000 mile review of the YB100. This is a bike that I've owned for 11 years. And it had about 19,000 miles on the clock when I bought it. And it now has 31,000 miles on the clock. I was talking to a mate of mine yesterday and he said he had his uh, Kawasaki 750 um, valued. It's a very disappointing price because the, uh, the salesman at uh, a bike place over near Northampton said that it had done 8,000 miles and that was high mileage. A lot of people think their motorcycles are clapped out after about 12,000 miles. Absolute cobblers. This bike is on the original engine. It's a two-stroke 100cc carrying a fat man. There is no way the engine is worn out. So this is an unrestored bike. I just get the bits repaired as and when I need to. Cost of that is pretty low in actual fact. I've got a man who can who helps me because I'm not a mechanic. Um, but given that I rode it all the way around Ireland uh, last year, 1900 miles door to door in the um, peep, bleep, bleep, bleep rain and wind, I don't think that's bad at all. For a bike of this age and size. What do you think? And this June, if all goes according to plan, it's going to do the NC500. But I've got to ride it there first on the Cotswolds, up through the centre of England, through the Peak District, and on up, uh, avoiding all highways till I get to Inverness and then I follow the uh, North Coast 500 route. Anyway, let's see how it sounds when I start it. throbbing sound, very similar to a Harley I'd have said. I'll tell you what though, the Harleys don't like it when I park next to them. They're a little bit embarrassed. So I'm going to ride it a little way and um, then we'll do a little, little bit more filming and uh, a few more facts about the bike.
uh, little bike from Blade Motorcycles in Swindon at their trade centre back in 2011. I think it had about 19,000 miles on the clock when I bought it. Now it's got uh, 31, as you can see. I tend to ride mostly with the Wiltshire Wizards. Find us on Facebook. We're a little group of like-minded guys who love bikes with engines up to 125ccs, little ones. Some two strokes. Many much older bikes as well. It's all great fun. We normally go out on Sunday mornings and roar through the Wiltshire countryside with blue smoke bellowing out of our exhaust pipes polluting the local villages. Last year I decided to punish myself by taking this little bike over to Ireland. To be honest, I could have done it on my big bike, but I wanted it to be a form of flagellation in recompense for any past misdemeanors that I may have committed. There must have been many. I knew it was going to rain, but I couldn't have imagined how awful it would be, particularly um, the rain and the wind. For the 14 days I was over there, it rained on 12, and for 9 or, nine or 10, it was bucketing down with rain, with st storm force winds, and uh, to be honest, it was all I could get the little bike to do 20 miles an hour in second gear on a flat road. The wind was that strong. All in all though, the little bike performed very well. I did have a few misfires, one of which resulted in my baffles shooting out of the back of the exhaust. But that was the extent of my problems on that trip. And although the weather was awful, the fact that I was on a little bike meant I, means I met a lot of lovely people some of whom I'd agreed to meet before travelling and who rode part of the way with me and others I just met randomly met en route. So in terms of performance, the bike performs pretty well up to 40 miles an hour. It's not so comfortable at 50 and to be honest I prefer to hold it at around 40 and let it flatten off at that speed. We do get some smoke out of the back, but what do you expect? It's done 31,000 miles. And as for maintenance, this bike has been over maintained. Recently had some problems with misfiring, so it's had a good decoking, new coil and rectifier, new exhaust pipe. And the great thing about the YB is that the parts are dirt cheap. I think I mentioned before that in June I'm intending to do the North Coast 500, that's the north of Scotland, riding all the way up, so that'll be another 1800 mile ride. I could have done it on my Triumph Bonneville, but that would have been too easy. I know when I get up there I'll see a load of BMW 1250 GSs, Triumph Tigers, 
Honda Pan Europeans, but I don't expect to see another YB, or indeed any or many small bikes. Of course I have a planned route to get to Scotland, avoiding major roads and highways, partly because I don't want heavy trucks screaming past me, and also the sheer pleasure of riding small roads in the heart of England. So, I thought I'd come up and uh, finish off my review um, at the Cotswold Airport very popular with bikers and there's a nice cafe here there are World War II airfields all over the Cotswolds and this is the biggest and it has remained an airfield ever since in fact it is now known as the Cotswold Airport back at the beginning of Covid there was the biggest collection of jumbo jets here that I've ever seen. Of course, at that time they were being decommissioned while the demand for flights was low or non-existent. One of the things that they do here with aircraft is to break them and recycle. It has become quite a business, as you can imagine. This particular aircraft here on the left has been kept and uh, overhauled and has been used for events and parties which is rather nice something a bit different to do anyway let's get on with the review so watching uh, mo motorcycle reviews as we do I thought I'd have a look and see if there's ever been a review done on a YB100 let alone one that's done 30,000 miles and the answer to that is um, well all I've seen is a few crazy, uh, crazy reviews that last about two minutes out of um, out of India, where these bikes are still very popular, of course, and uh, these guys can do anything with them. So this is a 1988 bike, um, made in Japan, and cost new about 580 pounds. Interestingly, um, I actually bought it, as I say, 11 years ago, and uh, I paid 650 for it. Now, the price, uh, the way that the prices have gone lately, I'm not sure what I get for it. Probably, maybe up to two grand. Not sure really, but uh, so guess what? It's an investment. It's an investment. That's the way uh, I uh, explain it to my better half, the present Mrs. Little. Uh, like many people, when my kids were small, um, I stopped riding bikes for a, a number of years, but uh, came back to it in 1997 uh, with a Diversion 900. And um, basically I've had bikes, or a number of bikes since then, currently have a uh, Bonneville 900, last year's model. The wind seems to be getting up a little bit, so I thought I'd better go over to the uh, the GoPro that actually has some uh, wind protection on it. Um, so uh, before I was married, I had uh, a uh, yeah. Yamaha 80 Auto Lube for commuting on, which actually is essentially the same bike. Um, nothing much has changed on it, and that was going back to 1974. So, uh, the bike has got some uh, pedigree and it's a bomb-proof engine. She puts out all of eight horsepower and um, the performance is absolutely astonishing. Naught to 60, I think, in about um, 15 seconds, possibly longer with me on it. And, uh, and a top speed of 45 mile an hour with the wind behind me. I'm a big guy after all, as you know. One of the thoughtful things that Yamaha did was this chain guard, which is ideal for keeping ladies' dresses clean and keep the oil off it, which is absolutely grand. I reckon uh, I'm getting about 80 miles to the gallon, which is about three litres per 100 kilometres. Um, 
my tank range is about 130 miles 210 kilometers the wheels are spoked 18 inches and it weighs about 85 kilograms so nothing much to pull around the bike also comes with a center stand and a side stand you don't have to pay extra for that non-adjustable clutch the build quality i would say is excellent the lighting is absolutely paltry because it has a six volt electrics but um i've actually put these uh other lights on in order to um draw attention to myself on foggy days the mirrors are pretty good when I'm riding I can see half of myself I suppose and then the other half behind me but I am um, one is the left hand mirror actually and all I have to do to be able to get a clear view behind me is to lift this arm up like this then I can see perfectly easy as that easy peasy of course no electric start on this beast but to be honest i prefer to bump it just give it a little run get it, the engine turning over she powers into life ready to pop a wheelie the seat i have to say for a man with a larger backside and also carrying some weight could be more comfortable but I've got these uh, air cushions and everything on it and also uh, I've got a sheepskin going over it which does help me but I wouldn't want to be too comfortable on it, no would I? but realistically for what it is the engine pulls well and to be honest with 30,000 miles on the clock I have to be say I'm pretty astounded at its reliability but no doubt people in India would tell me they go on and on and on and on. So, uh, well, I'm considering when I get back from Scotland, um, maybe having an engine rebuild, but maybe then I don't need one. Start. I always think the YB looks so confident here, parked next to all the big bikes. After all, it's done a trip and it's going to do another one. So I'm not going to uh, go through all the boring old bits that uh, people reel out about cost of ownership and everything. If you're interested, I'm going to put it all in the description. And um, it's based on, a, as I say, about 11 years uh, ownership. I did have some issues with the bike um, a month or so ago. It's been uh, at the Menders and um, I was basically basically deciding on uh, whether to get something more reliable where I didn't have to rely on other people to help me to repair it. Um, in which case I was looking at the, uh, the Yamaha XSR125 still may get one of those at some point um but the little yamaha is still doing me absolutely great at the moment i can't fault it at, as it's riding at the moment hope i don't get halfway to scotland and the need to be recovered but um I'm on my way home from the airfield. And as you can see, the bike cracks along at a reasonable speed. In most conditions, it keeps up with the traffic. So I'm 
somebody in Germany said he wanted to see a bit more of the bike rather than just the road ahead we try to oblige That yellow helmet is a jinx for bad weather. Let's hope not. Just passing the Trouble House Inn. And now uh, approaching home. guys and gals, a strong, durable, 35 years old, fast compared to a bicycle, comfortable, well if you're used to sitting on a plank of wood it's comfortable, um, oh, oh, what's happened, it's conked out, no, only joking, I turned the tap off before I got home because I like to have an empty carburetor when it's standing here in the garage. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Any questions, fire away and I will put as much information as I know and can about the bike in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Anywhere the big bikes go, the little bikes can go as well. No problem.